Hey everyone, I'm Riccio. And I'm Kumar. And we're going to play some uh, Binding of Isaac. <laughs> we've been talking about it for a long time, so it's <laughs> going to be nice to finally make this thing happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Numerous podcasts we've heard of your crazy, yeah. crazy stuff. So. so for those of you who are who are actually watching, you'll notice that the menu is a little bit different. It's probably because I've just done literally everything in the game. <laughs> the only, uh, I was telling Richie earlier, the only two things I'm missing, the only two achievements are, uh, are item related. So I'm pretty sure it's... Oh my god. Two items oh I'm missing. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, where are the case? There's one right here, and there's one right here. I think. The, oh, and one right here. So three items. If anybody in the comments knows these three <laughs> items, actually, it would. I would love to know what they are because I still don't know. Okay, so actually, let's, let's take a look here. So one, two, three. Those are the only two, three on this page, or, or yeah. the only three on this page. Okay. Oh, I see uh, one on the right there. Four, and one at the bottom, on the bottom right. Five. Yeah. Those are the only. Oh, oh no, there's one in the middle, near oh, the right laser here. face. Yeah. Six. Yeah. So I'm missing six items. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. It's hilarious because some of these I actually don't even remember picking up <laughs> because there's so many of them. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> All right, you ready for this? Yeah. So, so you're pretty new at this game, right? You've only, uh, yeah, you've only sunk how many hours? <laughs> 231.3 hours or something. <laughs> <laughs> I like the point three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So everyone listening, you're going to have to pardon our keyboard. I sadly have a <laughs> Black Widow whatever click clacky thing, so... <laughs> But it's awesome. Yeah. You guys know, you, you'll know exactly when it's pushing different directions. See, I was hoping I could have used that guy because they drop bombs. Yeah. So this here, it's an active pickup. Hang on. So all it does is basically anyone who goes into that little puddle will get hurt. Okay, it's like that P-Boss. Yeah. Ah, uh, Harlequin, baby. So, he's a little familiar. He follows you around and has double shot. Nice. Comes in handy. <clears throat> This is going to be a sweet actually playthrough because you know a lot about this game, so you're actually going to teach me a lot of stuff, and hopefully all <laughs> people watching will be able to learn a little bit more about Binding of Isaac if they don't know much. And also, I, I guess, for people who haven't actually ever played Binding of Isaac or never seen it... <laughs> you're in for a treat. Yeah, it's, it's like a top-down, once you die, it's over type of game. And yeah, so all your progress, all your items, there's no saving uh, yeah. in terms of your progress within your game. Yeah. And that list of stuff is just stuff that he's found. It's not like an inventory or anything. So. I, have a, I have a gamble thing that I can do here. I've got one bomb, two keys. Okay. If I put a bomb here, I can go into the coin room, or sorry, into the item room right away and avoid losing health. Oof. Oof. Forget it. Because <laughs> most the item that I would have wanted in there was probably going to be 15 coins, but I only have eight. Oh, wow. So there's no sense in really wasting anything. <clears throat> Let's see who's up first. I'd be really happy if on this playthrough you managed to actually beat the whole freaking thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just depends on... Uh, there's people that, like, there's buddies of mine who can get through this thing regardless of what items they have. Oh, man. But for myself, it's... Uh, more consistently, it's been pretty much just a, a luck sort of thing <laughs> where, depending on what you pick up and your health and this and that. I mean, last time I saw you play, you did pretty good with even... I think well, I you had some it. really good stuff, but... <laughs> yeah, I got through it all. I'm pretty sure last time we played. You still pulled some pretty crazy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, the stem cells. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you ready for this? Sure. So, another thing for anyone who hasn't played this game, most of the items you pick up, aside from the little familiars, they'll actually change Isaac's appearance. <laughs> so right now, this is the default Isaac. <laughs> and picking up the stem cells results in... This. Oh my god, is that a child growing up the <laughs> yeah, side? Yeah, just growing up the side of his face. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's a little bit twisted. Just a little bit twisted. <laughs> I'll leave all the cutscenes, I won't skip any of them. Good. So you'll see that it says Curse of the Darkness up at the top. So okay. if you take a look up at the top left, none oh, of the no map. Yeah, none of the map's gonna get revealed. Oh. So those curses are completely random. They'll happen. Some of them are actually in your favor, some of them help you out. One of them helps you out, actually. Is it and every floor that you automatically get one, or is it random no, that you even get one? No, it's totally random. Oh, totally wow. random. Wow. Yeah, if you take a look at the right over here, little blue blocks. You gotta be careful if you only... Like, I'm gambling here with uh, with oh, the bomb. You, you do have a lot of keys, though. Yeah, and I did it purposely because most of the time it'll net you some sort of an item. But if you only have one bomb, it's usually a gamble. You're getting a lot of keys. It's raining right? keys over here, yeah. Those are not items. Those are spiders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So those those red chests, they uh, there's a chance that they'll spawn an item for you. Why is that so, guy faceless this time? <laughs> his head's just down. He's oh, just okay. Down. So to avoid getting hurt again, I'm not 
going gonna get to get out of this. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't work at all. <laughs> Did not work the way I would have liked for it to. Because you're a gambling man. Yeah. <laughs> so the ladder's on sale. The ladder's cool. It just lets you uh, lets you Go traverse across. small distances, a single space. Yeah. That room there, if you've got a chance to spawn a chest. Yeah. yeah I don't think we've seen any gaps yet, so we can't. Yeah, we show can't the really. Ladder. Can't show you anything. I find this game so entrancing to watch sometimes. Like, I'll just like <laughs> stare into it and be like, whoa. <laughs> I remember, I'll never forget the first, first time I played it. <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> really? Yeah, I was so confused. Okay, so this guy, I want to get him close to the block. Oh, never mind. He didn't spawn me a bomb. These oh, because there's a blue block over there. All yeah, right, they, they run away from you most of the time, so you can direct them to a certain extent. You can actually use oh, them wow. to. Oh. You can use them to actually blow up walls for you in some cases. Oh wow, okay. But then again, sometimes they'll spawn just flies, so... Those ones are soul hearts, or are those...? Uh, no, yeah, those are soul hearts. Okay. So and what are the white ones This again? item here, the white ones are spirit hearts. Spirit hearts, okay. If you hold them for the entirety of the floor, then uh, it'll actually turn into a full red heart. Oh wow. Mama's Pills comes in handy if you've got an item generator. Or sorry, uh, an item regeneration. Like a, an active item that'll do that for yeah. you. But you gamble when it's got a question mark. So that helped. Oh, cool. Oh, this is coming Oh, handy. nice. Wait, what is... Yeah. So it'll reveal... Like, like uh, you know how I put down yeah. a bomb hoping I can get out? It'll reveal... Uh, any type of holes in the wall. Yeah, nice. so I'm just going to go right back through everything to see if I find something. Or does it not work because we have the uh, map that won't... No, usually it works anyways. Okay. The only thing Curse of the Darkness does is it just doesn't let you see where you were. Aha. Uh -huh. <coughs> oh, so hear that, uh, yeah. hear that tune? So it means one of these... Oh, oh so it doesn't I... even show you exactly which yeah, one. Yeah, it's not even going to show you. Yeah, so Ooh. unfortunately I don't have a bomb so I can't do anything. Wow. Oh, whether, sorry. I, whether I, it's I you I, or the... Uh... I think I just skipped the... Uh, I skipped oh, the intro. Okay. Yeah, yeah okay. sorry about that, guys. You really just took this guy out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not, not much of a threat. So. What's that little thing following you again? I think it's awesome. Harlequin uh, baby. <laughs> yeah, that thing's doing damage. There's a lot of really cool ones. Uh, yeah, I didn't pick up a bomb. So this will increase my tears and make my eyes look weird. <laughs> so if you guys see... Look at his eyes. His eyes are all crazy. So... Now you'll see that I'm shooting a little bit quicker. Oh god. Oh wow, even the, the doll is shooting faster too. Yeah. Oh wow. They, they match your, your tier rate. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I did it again. No. Oh. Curse of the Labyrinth. I'm in luck. I'm in luck this time. See, this is... What so, is it? You get two of... So you get two of everything. Two boss battles and uh, and two treasure rooms. Okay, for a second there, when I saw the ladder go down, I thought it was a one-use item, and I thought you just wasted it when you walked <laughs> away and it kind of stayed there. No, no, no. Okay, so was, I'll show you oh, guys yeah, now. No. So, say say there was an item over here somewhere, then I can traverse a single spot yeah. where there's no ground. Nice. So it comes in handy, especially if you've got to cross uh, small little distances. Okay, so now on the map it'll actually show <laughs> yeah. you the hidden room. Is. That's exactly. cool. I was gonna say if they could blow it up with their green little bombs. Yeah, they can. Oh, really? There you go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you always, uh, if you're in a room like that, nice. leave one of them alive, and let him do the work for you, so you get to keep all your items. Yeah, I definitely when I try and play this, there's no strategy. It's just sort of <laughs> <laughs> clear rooms, kill things, get angry, don't win. <laughs> ah, see, now you can. Oh. So I can, if I if I use my bomb, I can get, uh, like if I didn't have a ladder, I would have had to use a bomb here, and yeah. I would have had to use a bomb there as well. Yeah. But what I can do is I can just go like this. Oh, wow, I didn't even, okay, wow. But, I, uh, I see, I took a risk here. I was hoping there was a key in there, because yeah. now I'll have to find one to be able to, uh, Open both locked doors. Yeah, exactly. Them. Okay. Wow, that was a... <laughs> yeah, if you, uh, if you get good. them all bunched up. <laughs> okay, these guys are probably my biggest enemy. I hate these guys. Spiders that spit, pretty much. Or spider, they, they jump like spiders. Well, what they do is, they, they're they the only ones that I've never really gotten used to. Okay. And every time they hit you, you lose coins. Oh, really? Yeah, they're based oh, they're on... Uh, yeah, if you saw the three coins that popped out of me earlier. Yeah. They'll actually... 
when they hit you, you'll lose more than what you'll get back. Oh, there we go. There's a key. That's why the ladder comes in handy. Because it would have to use a bomb. Okay, yeah, cool. No bomb wasted. And if I didn't have a bomb, I would have been screwed, right? These guys are fools. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really intense fight. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh wow, just get rid of all those rocks. Yeah, just wanted to clear them out so I wouldn't get stuck. Go after these guys first for anyone who's, who's watching. Those guys, uh, they do more damage than these little guys do. I'm guessing a full heart versus like maybe a half? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Explosive damage, I think the entirety of it will always do... Uh, will always do... A full heart. <laughs> I'm stacked on coins too, yeah. so when I get to the item room, I'll be able to buy some stuff. Nice. Wait, can you re-roll the item room with your... Yep, absolutely. Yeah, we didn't explain that you have a dice that... Uh... Oh, right. Yes. So, uh, I, I can't recall what actually unlocks the dice for you, but... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I like that you're explaining this while these <laughs> monsters are doing what they're currently yeah, these doing. Yeah, these guys are idiots. <laughs> so, yeah. the dice, after you've beaten the game or after you've done a particular uh, like a particular task in it, what it ends up doing is it, it grants you, uh, and I'll explain this guy in a second, grants you the dice, and the dice lets you re-roll any type of item you might find. So regardless of whether it's in the item room, regardless of whether it's in the treasure room or a boss fight, you'll get to re-roll it if you don't like the item that's there. So it comes in handy in uh, potentially saving you if you're not picking up any powerful items. And let's take a gamble with this one too. Sweet. Balls of steel. That gives, gives you uh, gives you a couple of soul hearts. Oh, nice. So this guy is a doucher, and uh, he uh, Wait, does he only take red hearts? Or he can, hearts? Yeah, he takes half a heart. Okay. Uh, there's there's an equivalent of him who takes coins, which is a whole lot easier to deal with. But I hate that other guy. What's the chance of you getting something good from that one that you just? Uh... Uh, I remember having a couple of bad experiences with him. Okay. And I just never really got used to. The frequency in terms of how he helps you out. Okay. So I don't quite know what all he can give you. Okay. It's probably exactly <sighs> what you're missing. <laughs> yeah, imagine it. Oh. Ah, nice. Key. So the item that I picked up in the uh, in the treasure, or sorry, in the uh, in the item room is uh, is a compass. So if you take a look up at oh, the yeah. top left, you'll see that. Oh, it's, it's showing you where everything is. Yeah, exactly. It's detailing where all the stuff is. So it comes in handy, especially if you want to try and map out the way that you're going to go about clearing the floor. Yeah. And now the map usually isn't this big, but because you got that labyrinth. Place. Yeah, exactly. So, do you have to choose what boss you go against, or can you actually kill both of them? No, it's uh, like they're they're back to back rooms. Okay. Oh. And so yeah. So the way it is is basically you'll fight one and then you'll fight the other. They're randomly generated, just like everywhere else in the game. Okay. Quick little tip for those guys: if you stay centered with them, they'll never hit you. <laughs> So this item here, uh, I want to say, see, I can't recall exactly what it does, but I, I think it ups the, uh, the likelihood that you're going to spawn a holy room at the end of a boss fight. Sick. So I'll leave it to you, Richie. What do you think? Should I gamble it or should I? Uh, oh, actually, if you pick it up, it'll, it'll, it's like a. It, it, it's not a. Uh, it doesn't improve any of your stats aside mm. from like your luck. Mm. Is but, it worth uh, getting a holy room? Yeah, holy rooms always have great items in them, or at least most of the time they have great items in them. Uh, but. What I normally recommend to people when, when you've uh, when you've gotten stuck into a uh, into a labyrinth room, find both treasure rooms if you can first. See what you got. Yeah, especially if you've got the dice. Like if I didn't have the dice, I would have just picked it up, right? I would have had to. Yeah. Oh, and did you ever hurt. open up? Oh, you only have one bomb. Never mind. Yeah, well, I was gonna say, uh, don't ever blow that guy up. Okay. Just because he'll spawn a spider, it's just a waste of a bomb. Oh, he doesn't have any items or coins. No, or anything. not okay. at all. So I'm trying to avoid <clears> the uh, the rooms I haven't cleared yet. Because it takes three rooms to power up the, the dice. Oh. So you could technically re-roll both items. Yeah, exactly. That's, 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 what cool. I'm, that's what I'm kind of hoping to be able to do. I wasted a room earlier. Uh, 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 it's going to be a really learning experience episode of this. So this guy will help. That's, it's not Sister Maggie. Sister Maggie is red as well, but a little bit fat. Okay. And gives you hearts. Oh. And this familiar will actually, because it's thinner, that's how you know which one is which. Okay. He'll join Harlequin Baby right beside me and start shooting a little bit. Oh, red. no way. Oh, oh, it is Sister Maggie. I don't remember what the other one's oh, called. Oh, wow. So now I've got... Uh, Two of them. Yeah, it's almost the equivalent to a damage wait, wait, boost. Is the first one not firing anymore, though? Yeah, absolutely. He's just slower. Oh, it's just... Oh, wow. It's a little bit slower. It's also like... He's always half the rate of what you're doing because it's a split shot. Yeah. 